know, and what you, I, I don't even know if it shows through the videos is, you used to be a, like a professional dancer or you were all about the dance. How did you make this transition from dancer over to fitness guru? That I danced my whole life. Well, I started when I was in eighth grade because I wasn't allowed to dance when I was little. I had a really bad hip injury when I was four, put me in the hospital. Nobody really knows this story. Uh, they didn't know what was wrong with me. They didn't know if I'd ever walk again. Lo and behold, three weeks in the hospital and it just, I did. But I wasn't allowed to dance for a while. So eighth grade, started dancing, started competing within a year of taking class. And I was like, that's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm not having a desk job. I told my dad I was going to Hollywood. And he laughed. <laughs> but my dad would dance with me in the kitchen. It was like, he would, he would dance with me. So I did. I ended up competing all through high school. Went to college as a dance major. Ended up with a back injury my senior year. Ended up with a bulging disc in my lower spine. And the doctor said, stop dancing or have back surgery by the time you're 20. And so I was left just every night, spent 10 years thinking I was gonna dance my whole life, that was gonna be my job, and here I am trying to figure out at 19, what am I gonna do with myself? I left school with a semester to go, and I moved to California, and I was like, I'm still going to Hollywood, I'm doing something, something in the entertainment business, because that's what I like to do. And I, I did acting for a while, and I had my SAG card, did a little commercial work here here and there, and I was waiting tables, and I hated waiting tables. I was like, I can't do another day of waiting tables. But I didn't want to teach dance. It, that was like, I could still dance, I just couldn't dance eight hours a day anymore. So I was like, I don't want to teach it, that's for me, it's personal now, like I just want to be able to do it when I want to do it. What's the next closest thing? Fitness. And I liked helping people, so I started researching certifications and came across an ASM, an ASM, and that, that was my first one. Paired up with somebody who had a small private business and started doing in-home training. How long have you been a trainer? Ten years. Well, it's, it's interesting when we when we had the meeting. And this is at the time the first time we met. Autumn T25 was deep in development, and P90X3 was just getting in development. And uh, I asked Autumn, you know, tell me about like the the routine that you take your clients through that uh, is, is the one that they love, like what, what type of training do you do? And she said, uh, well I take it through this routine that's called the Dirty 30. And I said, you're my girl. <laughs> yes, you <he> did. <laughs> that's in the base kit, right? The Dirty 30. <laughs> Wish I had thought of that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, I want to move to what, what 